Hey, hello. You're stuck in traffic with Wolf Gorlick, a couple minute riff on IT and IT security. Today, looking at ways to detect and respond to PowerShell attacks. So, I was down in, uh, in Chicago over the weekend, went to B Side Chicago, which is a great little conference. Uh, in past years, we've done Hackers on a Train, where a bunch of the MySec folks get together. Uh, we board the train up here in Detroit, and then we do TED style talks, right? 10, 15 minutes in length, quick lightning talks all the way down a tremendous amount of fun and I still remember uh, I still remember the the look at some of our fellow passengers uh, about two years ago when a friend of mine was explaining how to steal BMW um, using uh, using lockpick methods and uh, bypasses hilarious but we get everyone's attention that's the key thing and sometimes it's all about getting everyone's attention and knowing that uh, when attack tools are used, you know that there's some sort of alert, right? That people know to look for it. That's the main thing. Look for attack tools in your network and alert on when they exist. Now, PowerShell being oftentimes overlooked is a great source of attack tools. The, uh, the tool set has been growing. It started with PoshSec and, and PowerSploit many years ago. Uh, PowerShell Empire was uh, demoed in Chicago is pretty, pretty slick. Pretty slick. It's basically like Metasploit, but for PowerShell. Uh, with payload, attack vectors, privilege escalation. Very nice little tool. That's PowerShell Exploit, or PowerShell Empire. Meanwhile, there are a uh, number of attacks, right, that have been going on using uh, cryptoware and ransomware, using PowerShell, PowerSniff, uh, and those types of things. So it's a good idea, of course, to lock this thing down. It's in every pen tester's tool bag, and it's many criminals, uh, criminals as well. So there's a talk by a guy named Peter uh, Eater of Pumpkins on on Twitter, and uh, he did this fantastic talk. And he was looking at ways to detect PowerShell. The number one thing, of course, is disable PowerShell for everyone who doesn't need it. Reduce your attack surface. That's number one. Number two is have in place an incident response policy that can detect and respond to threats. So part of that is what Peter was talking about, number three, is have specific tests for specific conditions. And within PowerShell, he was recommending a couple different things, such as looking for user agent strings that may indicate uh, PowerShell Empire or various other attack tools. That's a pretty simple one. <laughs> Enable via group policy object PowerShell logging, so log what modules are invoked. And one of the things I was thinking about was then benchmarking those modules so that when new modules are invoked that you're not used to, you can you know, be alerted on and respond to it. So for example, uh, it's all a .NET framework, right? So if it's system.runtime for invoking uh, other processes or system.reflection for reading memory and reading out the environment, those types of things, Alert on that, use the GPL tool, do the logging to the box, then do centralized logging so your box forwards all of those logs to a SIM, and then do alert out of a SIM that, um, that will indicate that these things have happened. Someone's executed a new script, someone's executed a new uh, attack, someone's pulled in a module they've never pulled in before. Similarly, enabling PowerShell logging for things like um, bypassing the local profile and bypassing execution policies, which I think is normally not done by admins. So looking for those attack signatures and alerting them. So you log on both of those items, forward it to your SIM, then you build your incident response policy around that. So when you see them, you go and investigate and you trigger an alert uh, and follow the IR process if breach. So take a look, take a look at uh, group policies, take a look at centralized logging, take a look at uh, PowerShell, and make sure you're capturing that information and sending it to yourself. Cheers.